I'm so not perfect, but every day I'm learning, striving and searching. The show was comprised of 10 siblings, 10 siblings, six girls, and four boys. So, in essence, the showers uh, got started from my parents. So we are real live family group again that consists of uh, ten siblings. Well, that really uh, makes us feel great because in anything that you uh, commence, you should always have others that have already paved the way for you. And I understand and I know that the Clark sisters, the Hawkins, and the Winans, all of these persons have gone before us and they have paved, paved the way for uh, groups such as ourselves, the Showers, and we are elated that God has, a, has entrusted us to share the gift and we are elated that we, you know, are walking in the footsteps of those that have gone before us. The inspiration behind that song came about through, uh, it was written by Bruce Robinson Jr. He is the individual who also wrote Latisse Crawford's You're There, which is her single, and he also wrote uh, on Joshua Rogers, excuse me, Joshua, Joshua Rogers' project. So that song was, again, written by Bruce, and it he introduced the song to us and we just loved it because we all know whatever we are going through we should just praise our way through it the song tells us to pray our way through sickness through pain whatever it is whatever storm that arises in our life we should praise our way through yes sir we performed at different events that was uh, circled around the cellar well, it felt it felt great. It felt great. Um, again, I'm going to just always refer back to the fact that we just thank God for how he is elevating us and how he is making a way for us to continue to rise higher in our ministry. And it was a grand opportunity. We networked with different people. We sang in front of uh, gospel biggest and greatest artist and it was just a testament of how God will bless you if you are obedient to him well our, our sound is versatile in that it has a contemporary uh, record on the project there is urban there is uh, traditional so we have a wide array of sound in that however you you may want to go to church on that particular day. We have Praise Your Way Through. You may be going through. We have Better. You may uh, need a slow tune. We have Changes Going to Come. So we just have, again, a wide array of songs on our uh, forthcoming project, Summer 2014. Well, for our sophomore project, uh, we coupled ourselves with uh, writers and producers such as Myron Butler. He produced uh, eight of our ten songs, and Bruce Robinson wrote six of the eight songs, and Dion Kippen wrote two of our songs. So, therefore, I, this time around, again, with our sophomore project, we just waited on the Lord. We... Uh, we uh, slept for a while so we can, uh, you know, go to Arabia. You know, and the Bible tells you to go in Arabia before you go and uh, go out and try to minister. So we, that is what we did. We slept on our gift and we learned the business of the industry and we coupled ourselves with those four names I stated earlier. And God just gave the increase. Oh, yes, sir. The Hawkins, the Winans, the Clark sisters, uh, Dion Kippen, Daddy Peoples, John P. Key, Myron Butler, uh, uh, Yolanda Adams, Kirk Franklin, Mary Mary, all that are singing God's praises, but we're just 
uh, again, humbled that to even go before and sing in the manner in which the Lord has allowed us to sing now. That is a great question, and I would have to say that our sound uh, is different from the traditional family because I guess we we have, uh, I guess because we are maybe a little younger in that our ages are 23 through 40, not calling those other persons old or anything, but I guess we are a little younger and we grew up literally singing in the singing in the van on the way to church, uh, <laughs> singing in the living room, singing uh, behind the, the podiums at churches all together. So we've been together literally all our lives until, you know, some of us married, some of us uh, moved out of our parents' homes. So I guess because of the fact that with singing in the church on the way, singing in the van on the way to church, that just humbled us and that just gave us that uniqueness to still be together even when we're apart. Well, I think it translates into our music because you have to go with where you are at this present moment. So whatever and wherever you are at that moment, you have to satisfy that moment. So in doing so, our non-traditional look gives us the appearance that we are non-traditional and if we have to be traditional, we'll be traditional. So hopefully I kind of answered your question. Well, in this new year, we're just looking for the Lord to elevate our single Better. Better uh, was released to all digital outlets on January the 28th, and it topped 30 on the iTunes charts. So that was our first quest, and then the following week, it was introduced to radio. So we're just looking for the Lord to elevate our uh, sophomore single better and we're just praying that he'll do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think in that particular uh, with that particular single and we're just asking all to go purchase it on uh, iTunes or any of your digital uh, outlets at the single which was written and produced by uh, Dion Kippen entitled Better and after our single, we'll come out with our uh, sophomore uh, CD, Summer 2014. I think it is needed because many need to understand that just because we are up there singing God's praises does not mean we don't have any struggles right. and we don't have any storms. So at that moment, we're singing to encourage ourselves. So therefore, it gives the consumer and the viewer an opportunity to network or to see us in a different light, knowing that, ooh, they have the same problems I have. Because man that's born of a woman is full of trouble. So since we're full of trouble and we have that connection via television to share with our consumers that we have trouble, it just will encourage them more and they feel connected to us. Because many people see the glory, but they don't know the story. If the Lord wills it, we surely do. We have some We have some stories to tell. <laughs> Oh, okay, because I definitely have some stories to tell because I'm the eldest. So I'm the eldest of ten, so you can just imagine it's hard, and plus I own the uh, record label, so it's hard to uh, get them to understand that this is family, but this is business. So the separation. So I have some stories that can really wow and that can really bring people into the presence of God to let you know that no matter what you go through, God will be there with you to see you through. But we must remain humble and we must let the Lord exalt us because when he exalts us, we are well exalted. 
Yes, uh, I can share like uh, when uh, growing up, how we had to call for the restroom, keeping in mind that we resided in a uh, four bedroom home and ten persons coupled with my parents, which was twelve people living in a four bedroom home. We had to call for the restroom. We had to call for the phone. And I look back over that and see how the Lord has blessed us now where the Lord has enabled our parents. They have what a seven bedroom home, five bed I mean seven bedroom now plus five baths and nobody has to call for the restroom. No one has to call for the phone because most are gone now and most are making their own way. So that moment was very, very funny to me. Even now when I visit my parents' home, I always think about our humble beginnings, how we used to have to call for the telephone, call for the restroom, call to do anything because there were so many people awaiting to utilize the one bedroom, I mean one bath, one and a half bath uh uh, bathroom so it was just an humbling experience to see how if you remain faithful that Talk the that Lord was, this is Connie how may I help you wrong line oh sorry that the Lord uh, that the Lord will exalt you oh uh, what's next for the showers we'll uh, continue on in our quest with better where we will have uh a lyrical video followed by a video of better then we will continue to create momentum towards our sophomore project uh our sophomore release excuse me of our uh project uh entitled the showers and thereafter we'll uh come back with another project and then we have a catalog of singers we can uh, extract to do solos. My niece, she'll do a solo project. So we have a lot of forthcoming opportunities to share with our uh, consumers. Yes, sir. They can follow us at the underscore showers. Facebook is the official showers. And Instagram, the official showers. And our website is. The showers that ORG. Yeah. 